what's going on guys thank you all for joining the channel i just want to share this with you guys uh today uh, as to what's been going on in my life and uh, also what's happening um, across uh, the U.S. Uh, with regards to, you know, the weather, uh, the COVID situation, and so on and so forth. Not really, you know, a fishing episode, but just want to make sure that you guys understand what's happening currently here in the U.S., what's happening in my family, and also the future uh, plans. Uh, for this channel. So hope you all are doing okay. Um, first is I know that um, our country in Louisiana, state of Louisiana is currently having uh, a time of just terrible weather with Ida making landfall yesterday. Uh, it has destroyed lots of businesses, lots of homes, flooded a lot of uh, places. And uh, from what I heard, there are a lot of uh, missing people as well. So my heart goes out to all the Louisiana uh, folks. I have some friends and, and uh, I think family members uh, over there in the state. And so hopefully you all will uh, be okay after uh, this storm. So my heart goes out to all of you. Second, I'd like to uh, share with you all uh, with regards to uh, uh, my family, uh, my wife has uh, contracted the COVID-19 virus. Um, she was tested positive uh, Saturday, uh, and so she is in quarantine uh, at this time. Um, unfortunately, um, that infection has also made its way to my body. Uh, I have tested positive uh, today, and I think my son uh, has also uh, been uh, having problems with the same infection. Uh, we haven't tested uh, him for the COVID-19 test yet, but we do plan to do that uh, very soon. Uh, I'm feeling okay, uh, except for the congestion and the um, uh, itchy throat. Um, otherwise, um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. The same, same as uh, my wife, same with my wife's uh, situation. Uh, just some runny nose and uh, itchy throat and I think uh, she also had some fever for the first uh, few days um, but she is doing okay so hopefully um, we'll get through this uh, very soon very quickly we're taking a lot of uh, precaution a lot of uh, uh, meds uh, vitamin supplements um, and also taking some uh, uh, serious rest um, so that's the situation that we're going through right now and you know, hopefully we'll get through it uh, very soon. Um, the third is, you know, fishing has been really tough um, with the dog days of summer uh, really still here being uh, experienced here in the middle state. Uh, it is uh, extremely challenging and difficult. Difficult is an understatement, but it's been very, it has been very tough to catch some fish. I did attempt to go out caught a few small um, bluegills otherwise that's been the story uh, for the past you know couple weeks um, and so hopefully um, as I uh, gain my strength as I um, get through this COVID-19 infection hopefully after 10-14 days after the quarantine period I'll be able to go out to the lake and fish once again you know, uh, fishing has always uh, helped me get through uh, the most uh, difficult times. Um, stress at work, stress, um, you know, with this uh, whole COVID situation and uh, everything else in the life, in my life, uh, at least, uh, in my opinion. So I think fishing really keeps uh, the fishermen young. So that's all the news that I have. I'm sorry it's not all positive. Um, but I am here today, you know, sharing what's going on in my life and uh, a little bit of uh, information um, that's happening uh, in uh, the U.S. And uh, not all good information or not good all, not all good news, but uh, we're hoping and praying uh, that uh, it'll be uh, better. You know, it'll be a better situation in the coming days and coming weeks and, you know, our time ahead. So uh, that's all that I have. If you enjoy this video, like this video, please hit that thumbs up. 
and uh, think about possibly subscribing. And I appreciate uh, y'all's time. Hope you all are having a great day. Hopefully next time I'll be able to uh, tell you guys, let's go ahead and catch some fish. Till next time, guys. Bye for now.